Make India on the road to becoming a semiconductor powerhouse. Vedanta Limited has teamed up with Taiwan's chip maker Foxconn to set up a 20 billion dollar semiconductor unit in Gujarat. In this video, we will explore various factors that will pave the way for India to take the crown as semiconductor capital of the world. Companies around the world do not want to depend on China as the only source. China plus one diversification is underway. India is well positioned, given the last five to six years of efforts made by the country in positioning itself as a significant player in these global value chains. 66% of foreign direct investment FDI, in electronics manufacturing has come to India in the last three years and a growing number of countries and companies are looking at India as a trusted partner in manufacturing and design of electronics products. In 2014, the nation exported nothing related to the production of electronics. The nation currently exports machinery worth 70,000 crore rupees. That is a great achievement in less than a decade. India's electronics market is now valued at $75 billion, up from $10 billion in 2014. By 2025 or 2026, it is intended to be worth $300 billion, which would represent an increase in electronics manufacturing of roughly 26 times in 10 years. India's effort to transform into a semiconductor juggernaut. Semiconductor production will be the greatest test yet of India's capabilities. Chip fabs require years to build, years more to break even, and depend upon a highly trained workforce. India plans to transform a vast tract of salty marshland in Prime Minister Narendra Modi's home state in, spanning some 355 square miles, the agglomeration of 22 villages in Dolera in India's western state of Gujarat is a pet project of PM Modi. The site is now earmarked as the likely home of a roughly $20 billion semiconductor fabrication plant to be built by Taiwan's Honhai Technology Group, also known as Foxconn, which already manufactures Apple iPhones in the country. The Foxconn Vedanta deal would represent the largest corporate investment in India and its first privately owned fab. Indian officials are hoping to see construction begin next year and for operations to begin around 2025. India has in the past made several abortive attempts to produce semiconductors locally. Industry experts and government officials, however, say this time is different due to a confluence of global factors that have steeled Indian political resolve. What are geopolitical situations that favors India? US curbs on chip exports to China are the latest shakeup, prompting companies to consider moving some of their chip-making capabilities to nearby Vietnam and India. Corporates are seeing merits in segregating supply chains rather than having a single point of reliance. Recent geopolitical developments are expected to accelerate these strategies that are already in motion. The curbs are the latest in a series of upheavals for the $600 billion global semiconductor industry. To reduce dependency on China, in recent years, chipmakers that were once attracted to China's competitiveness in manufacturing chips have had to deal with increasing labor costs in China, supply chain disruptions due to COVID-19 restrictions, and rising geopolitical risk. What are the challenges for India and what need to be done? India is also emerging as a production base for these chipmakers, as it has a growing pool of design talent in microprocessors, memory subsystems, and analog chip design. Labor is bountiful and costs are low in India too. However, the country's lack of manufacturing capabilities dulls its attractiveness. Also, India has to face tough competitions from Vietnam and other Southeast Asian countries. Despite strides in local automobile and smartphone production, India remains largely unproven in high-tech manufacturing. While India has tried to set up fabrication units in the past, the initiatives face numerous obstacles including the high capital expenditure investments for setup cost. In order to win the race, India need to be systematic in approach and government cannot be complacent on short-term gains. Instead need to focus on sustainable and modern infrastructure for semiconductor industry to raise the rank as top player. Thanks for watching. 
please subscribe to see on channel for interesting videos on geopolitics, emerging trends and more.